Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I have some exciting news to share with you all today regarding an increase to CPP payments for Canadian seniors. As many of you know, CPP is a monthly pension payment that seniors receive from the Canadian government once they reach retirement age. Well, I have learned that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau recently signed a new bill that will provide a significant increase to CPP payments starting at the end of February. This is absolutely fantastic news for our senior community, especially those with lower incomes who depend on CPP to cover their living expenses. Under this new bill, starting on February 28, the maximum CPP payment will increase from its current amount of around $1,200 per month to a whopping $1,800 per month. That's an extra $600 in your pocket every month if you are receiving the full CPP benefit. While the exact increase will vary depending on what you were previously receiving, the bottom line is all CPP recipients are getting a boost. Before we dive into the details, I want to ask anyone watching who struggles to pay for prescription drugs or other uncovered medical costs to hit the like button. If that's you, I understand the constant stress of having to pinch pennies just to afford critical health care. This upcoming CPP increase is for you, to provide some relief so you don't have to make impossible choices. So if covering your medical bills has been a burden, please hit that like button now to show your support for this policy change. Now, let's get into the key information you need to know about this exciting CPP payment increase and how it will benefit you. I know this has been a difficult time financially for many seniors, with the cost of food, housing, medical care and other essentials continuing to rise. This CPP increase is so important because it will help offset some of that burden and make it a little bit easier to make ends meet. In order for you to take advantage of this increase, you don't need to do anything. Since you already receive CPP, the additional funds will automatically be deposited into the same account where you get your current payments starting at the end of this month. It's being directly administered by the government, so you don't have to apply or fill out any paperwork. If you haven't yet started collecting CPP but are of age to do so, you would simply need to begin filing as normal, and would then receive the new higher payments. I'm sure many of you have questions about eligibility, so let me quickly go over who qualifies for this CPP boost. First, you must be receiving regular CPP retirement pension payments currently, or be eligible to begin receiving them if you haven't started yet. The increase is not applicable for those collecting CPP disability benefits. In addition, the full $600 increase is only for those receiving maximum CPP currently, or who would qualify for maximum CPP based on their contributions during working years. For those getting less than the max CPP, your increase will be proportional to what you currently receive. For example, if you get $600 monthly right now, your new amount might be around $900 per month with the increase. I know government policy details aren't always the most exciting to discuss, but I wanted to make sure you all understand exactly how the CPP increase is structured and who it applies to, so you can benefit. This is one of the most significant expansions to the CPP program in recent history, and I'm so thrilled that Prime Minister Trudeau and his government recognize the financial challenges facing our senior community and are taking action to help. At the end of the day, this increase means more money in your pocket each month, and more financial security. Now I want to switch gears and talk about some of the key discussion points that came up around this issue in Parliament before the bill was passed. This CPP expansion has been debated for months now, with support and criticism on both sides. Some members of Parliament argued the government simply couldn't afford this expansion with budget deficits and ballooning debt. They warned it could require tax increases down the road to pay for it. However, the majority government held firm in their stance that supporting vulnerable seniors is a priority worth taking on some debt for, and they had the votes to pass it. Other critics argued that a universal increase to CPP might be inefficient, as higher-income seniors don't need the help as much as those below the poverty line. To address this, the government made the point that CPP is a universal entitlement that Canadians pay into during their working years and thus should be expanded universally. Regardless of income, all seniors face rising costs and this extra money will be beneficial. And for very high-income seniors, the boost is a small fraction of their total income anyway and won't make a huge difference in lifestyle. I give a lot of credit to Prime Minister Trudeau for pushing this expansion forward despite some political opposition. He has made it clear that supporting the middle class and vulnerable groups like seniors is a top priority. With sensible policies like the CPP increase, his government is working to make life more affordable and build a Canada that leaves no one behind. 
Now that we've gone over the key details of this upcoming CPP increase, I want to discuss how this extra money can impact your daily life once it starts hitting your account. An extra $600 per month may not allow you to go out and splurge on a fancy new car or expensive trips, but it can make a big difference in helping cover the essential costs seniors face. Let's talk about some possibilities. One major area this money can help with is housing costs. Whether you own your home or rent, bills like mortgage payments, rent, property tax, home insurance and utilities take up a large chunk of fixed income budgets. An extra $600 could cover a few months of heating bills in the winter or a few mortgage payments to provide some temporary relief. Every little bit counts when making ends meet. The boost can also help tremendously with medical costs not covered by provincial health care or other insurance, like prescription drugs, dental work, medical equipment and more. These expenses quickly add up, and the CPP money could cover several new prescriptions monthly that you critically need but couldn't afford before. Not having to pinch pennies when it comes to healthcare is so important. Day-to-day -day living costs for food, clothing, and other essentials also take up a lot of seniors' tight budgets. An extra $600 gives you more flexibility for grocery shopping and can allow you to buy healthier foods to manage conditions like diabetes or heart disease. Finally, the additional funds allow a bit more wiggle room in your budget for some simple enjoyments in life like a nice dinner out once in a while with friends or family, tickets to a show or sporting event, a new book or hobby item, or a gift for children and grandchildren. Retirement should provide some ability to enjoy your golden years after a lifetime of hard work. As you can see, even though $600 may not seem like a life-changing amount, it provides precious breathing room and monthly budgets stretched to the limit. And that can make a big difference in daily quality of life. Just as importantly, it sends the message that the government cares about the struggles seniors face and is taking steps to help and that your voice has been heard. Before I wrap up, I want to encourage you to like this video if you found this information helpful, and share it with any seniors in your life so they are aware of this great news. Also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video to get notified anytime I post new content relevant to seniors and retirees. I aim to be your go-to source for news and discussion around senior benefits programs, financial planning, health tips, and more so subscribe to stay informed. In closing, I am thrilled that the government is increasing CPP payments to better support our senior community, especially lower-income pensioners who need help the most. This expansion recognizes the financial challenges today's seniors face with rising costs of living. I hope the extra $600 per month coming your way at the end of February makes life just a little bit easier. We owe so much to our seniors, and I'm proud to see our leadership taking steps to honor them with sensible policies like this. Thank you all for watching today's video. Please let me know your thoughts on the CPP increase in the comments below. I look forward to keeping you updated on any additional developments around this and other senior-focused programs and policies. Have a wonderful rest of your day.